Well, here we go for a Friday morning going into St. Patrick's weekend, if you will. St. Patrick's Day is what? It's uh, 15th. Next Thursday. Um, Thursday. Is it Thursday? Is the 17th? Um, but our parade is, uh, this, is this weekend. Willie Waffle is the man for the movies, and he's on the line right now. Good morning, Willie. Good morning. Well, good morning. I'm, I'm hearing, uh, i got to look up what movies you're going to talk about here today. Um, have we talked about this uh, Sasha Baron Cohen movie uh, as of yet? Is that this weekend? That would be this weekend. You know, and believe me, the less you talk about it, the better you're going to feel about <laughs> your life. I got to tell you, I'm, hear- I, I'm hearing this. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, that at one point... Um, He's kind of like uh, so. He's kind of like the brother of James Bond, supposedly, right? Yeah, you know they they, they were they were in an orphanage together. Yeah. Twenty eight years ago, they got separated. He went off to become kind of this this dim witted soccer fan with eleven kids and living off the welfare check. And his brother goes off to become the greatest spy in MI six. You saw this movie, right? Yeah, unfortunately. How did you handle? The place where he hid. There's a lot of just really disgusting things that happen in this movie. I mean, to me, they are crass. How they did are you disgusting? They are how, outrageous. How did you not throw up? Exactly. Would be my question. This, this is yeah. This is one of those. Where you should, shall I say where it was? Yeah, I guess I mean, you're gonna you're gonna I mean, you're gonna have to. Shall Shall I use the the medical terms? I think you should stay medical. Uh, elephant, um, <clears throat> lady parts. What? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know what? This why? And, 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 and if you're if you if you have a weak stomach, I don't think this is a movie that you can watch. No, you can't. <laughs> and, and and that's the thing with the movie. They they just try to throw up every disgusting, horribly offensive joke they possibly can and hope that maybe some of it will stick and some of it will make you laugh. I mean, you know, in addition to that, you have just this running joke where people keep having things um how do I put this nicely? stuck inside them. Yeah, it's really uh, it's out there and it's gross. Um, what do you give this? Uh, you got through it. What do you? Is there funny to it? Is it funny? Well, eventually something's going to make you laugh. Yeah, but not much. I mean, I'm saying one waffle. I just it, it's not my style of comedy. There's just too much potty humor. There's too much um, elephant lady part humor. Yeah, yeah. Well, who knew there was such a thing, and why I, uh, do we need I, it? I, I feel that uh, this guy, I, I used to love his stuff that he did on HBO when he would interview, like, big political figures. He'd go out and do an interview oh, with them. Oh, he was Ali G. Yeah. He was Ali G, and he'd be this guy that was supposedly somewhere from the Middle East or... Where was he from? I, I forget, but... Um, it, it was all ambiguous. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you didn't know, and, you know, the words were kind of made up, and it was... It was extremely funny. I, I just thought it was an ex- incredibly funny bit, which he did on the Oscars. He played that character on the Oscars when he came out. Um, yeah, and he was really funny as Borat. I mean, you know, yeah, when, yeah. When, when there was a little something more to it other than let's see how disgusting I yeah, can be. Yeah, and, this and one, I think that, that's, that's the shift here. You know, it's, it's like, well, you know, people aren't smart enough to, to enjoy a movie about that, so we'll make it as yeah. just filthy as possible because that's what people seem to want. Uh, one waffle for the brothers, yeah. uh, just be aware. Uh, 10 Cloverfield Lane. What do you, what do you think of this one? This is the one that you want to go see. It is so cool. It is so exciting. And it is everything that you hoped it would be when it just kind of mysteriously showed up in our lives a couple of months ago. And, and you got Mary Elizabeth Winstead. She plays this woman who's uh, kind of broken up with her fiancé. She gets into a horrible car accident, and she wakes up chained to a pipe in an underground bunker owned by John Goodman. Yes, and he's telling her that something horrible has happened. Why, there's been an attack. The air outside has become poisonous, and the bunker is the only safe place to be. Wow. You like this, though. I love it. I think it's fantastic. I think a lot of it's because of John Goodman. He's just so creepy and unbalanced and just off-kilter. You're always kind of wondering what kind of rage is going to come spewing out of him, what kind of crazy thought is going to come out of his head. Can you believe anything that he's saying, or is it all a ruse just to keep them trapped down there? And it just, when he talks, just everything sounds so ominous and so unsettled and so frightening. You just want more. And then they throw a little mystery in the middle of the whole thing, just when you think you got it all figured out. Uh, I've heard he's lost a lot of weight. Well, he did lose a lot of weight. He seems to put some of it back on Uh, in this movie. Well, um, i got to tell you, (laughs) I love John Goodman. How do you not like John Goodman? He's just a guy that you might not remember always, 
but when you see him, you're like, oh, I I really like him. He's a very talented actor, you yeah. know. Who you know, he doesn't get remembered because he's not the big leading man. He's yeah, not yeah. the big superstar, good looking guy. But he's so solid. Every time you see him in a movie, you know he's going to be really good. And this is a movie that gets a ch- gives him a chance to showcase all of that talent yeah, and yeah. create a character that is just unforgettable. All right, so uh, might be a good one to see. How many waffles again? You give this one? We're going four waffles. Four Whoa. waffles. Wow. All right. Apparently, you were really affected by the Brothers Grimsby, Grimsby or whatever. Yeah, I have a feeling when you see Cloverfield Lane after Grimsby, it's yeah, just, maybe like, wow. it's better. Greatest movie ever <laughs> like, in the history hey. of the world. Yeah, no, in Ted yeah. Cloverfield Lane, it's like, wow, they're actually trying to write like scenes and stuff. Yeah. Wow, this is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, listen, um, have you done any of the Netflix stuff? Have you done any of these shows? I have not. I'm like the Netflix nobody. What, okay. What, I, don't they have some new thing coming out tonight, like uh, some sketch comedy deal coming out tonight or something? I, I don't know. I'm consumed with uh, House of Cards. And, uh, oh, I, it's there funny. you go. Manaski asked me yesterday, so how far along are you? What did I say? I was like, I think I'm on episode four. And last night, we, honest to God, we pull up to watch an episode last night. And my wife is like, okay, you just, you just moved way forward. What are you doing? You're on episode nine. I'm like, how did I get on episode nine? And it changed the interface. It changed a little, so it's hard to get back. So you figure out how to get back. And I realized we're on episode nine. It came out on Friday. We've watched nine episodes since Friday. I don't know how I pulled that off. But, yeah, uh, I know, because like, you have a life and responsibilities uh, and things. I, 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 you know what it is? I just go to bed later. That's my life. I just go to bed <laughs> later. So, all right, Willie, good stuff. It's wafflemovies.com. Before you go to the movies, check it out. And we appreciate it. Have a great week. All right, talk to you next okay. week. I think we're going to see Willie in studio coming up next week, but mm-hmm. I think he's coming in. Uh, Tim, uh, quickly, have you seen any? Uh, are you your house cards? I'm house. Uh, cards. How far are you in? So I think we're doing. We're in episode five. Uh, I love it? watching it with my wife because she'll sit there and go. So why did he do that? So I, <laughs> now how do, how do I, I? I'm at the same spot you are in. How do I? I don't. I'm not omniscient. <laughs> You know, so, and she'll sit there like, what? Why you, apparently, you should be watching with my wife because I do that to her. I, yeah. I'm like, how did that happen? How What's did, going on here? Who is that guy? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it amazing, though, how much the the new, um, I don't know if it's you guys are this far, but the, the new aide, the political consultant, looks so much like the girl that got pushed into the subway? Oh, absolutely. It's that's Nev Campbell, by the way. Yeah, I didn't really. recognize oh, her. She that's was, Nev Campbell. That's Nev Campbell, yeah. Wow. Because I, you said I didn't that. know that. You said that, and I went and looked I up. I saw her I'm name like, on the credits. so close. Who is that person? So I went and yeah. looked up, yeah. Um, it is close, though, isn't it? It's very it's close. Really, yeah. really incredible. And you got to be thinking they were thinking yeah. that. But then they got Nev Campbell on top of that. So, uh, listen, if you aren't watching it, a lot of people are. I have to tell you, yeah. a lot of people are watching this Netflix stuff. But if you're not watching it, there'll come a point where you're going to want to get in. But you're probably going to want to start from the beginning. Yeah, but this season is pretty, uh, pretty. Well, intense. especially with uh, the yeah. poli- this political <clears throat> cycle has been. Uh, I can't believe yeah. how it's mirroring what's going on in the world. How yeah. they're talking about a brokered convention. Yep. Um, I'm in nine, so um, you'll get to that. But crazy, crazy. Hold on tight. We're coming right back. We'll talk a little Boilermaker when we come back here. News top of the hour in WIBX.